Hi everyone, John Davenport here from Fogrobbly.com with another Let's Edit video. And since it's going to be a new moon this week, I thought I'd do another star photo for you. Um, you know, new moon's the ideal time to go out and photograph these kinds of shots because, you know, when you have any kind of a light source and the moon is a rather large one at night, you end up not being able to see as many stars. So if you can get out this week, um, and take some photos of the nighttime sky. It'd be a great time to do it. All you really need is clear skies um, And you need to be away from the city lights and you need a tripod because you're going to be using uh, fairly long exposures You can see the settings that I used today were ISO 1000 11 millimeters f 2.8 and a 10 second exposure now a little theory behind these settings first before we get too far into the edit um, yes, I could have gone higher on my exposure time and dropped my ISO settings, um, but the reason I didn't was mainly because I wanted to photograph more photos in, in the shortest amount of time. So if you think about it, I could have gone to 20 or 30 seconds and dropped my ISO, but I would have been taking either half as many or a third as many photos in that same amount of time. So that's the reason why I was shooting with a higher ISO, mainly just because I didn't want to wait around for 30 seconds or so between each photo. Now, that said, my camera, I know that the ISO range doesn't really drop off too drastically until about 1200 ISO. So you really have to know your camera before you can really make these kinds of choices. Uh, but that said, let's jump into this edit and uh, see what we can come up with so the first thing you'll notice is right along the horizon you might be barely able to notice it but as we uh, process this you'll notice it more I did um, try and light the other side of the river a little bit with a flashlight so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crop in here just to kinda center this um, lit part of the riverbank here and then crop down on that. So that's looking pretty good, right, for a crop. Kind of a square, but not really a true square crop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the white balance. Um, I find that tungsten works well and fluorescence works well. If you go to auto, it does a pretty good job as well for night photos, but I, I find that tungsten and fluorescent work the best. When you go into the daylight and the cloudy and the shade settings, you end up getting these really orange, uh, kind of annoying and very unrealistic colors, which I really don't like and I don't think they're very attractive for the night photos. So I'm going to hop into tungsten really quick and just maybe add a touch more um, in the warmth. Just add a little bit of temperature to that um, overall setting. Now the next thing I'm going to do, jump into my graduated filter tool, and I'm going to pull in from the bottom here a uh, you know pretty small filter but the reason I'm doing this is just to try and light this bottom part of the photo just a little bit more and you'll see as I bring the exposure up we get that to happen maybe add just a little bit of contrast um, we're gonna add contrast to the overall photo so I don't really want to add too much there uh, drop the highlights a little bit because there is quite a bit of highlights in these uh, green shrubs, especially as you bring the exposure up. And we're going to actually add more exposure to the overall photo in a minute. So yeah, this is pretty good for now. I think I'm just going to really leave it at that. Just just the dropping the highlights a little and adding a little bit of contrast and a little bit of exposure. So now we're just going to hop, close out of that uh, graduated filter tool and hop into our basic tab and I'm going to increase my exposure and what this does is it really brings out all the little stars in the sky but as you can see it does it at a cost of exposing everything so we're gonna bring our um, contrast up drop our highlights down drop our shadows drop our whites drop our blacks down and as you can see, everything's starting to kind of come into place now. Uh, maybe leave the clarity a little alone for now. So this is looking pretty good. And the other thing you can do is you can drop your exposure back down just a little bit. 
I mean, you're going to want a little bit of overall exposure increase just because this was fairly underexposed. But if you want to add, you know, a little bit more exposure to the sky, you can always drop in another graduated filter from the top and, you know, increase your exposure and your contrast. So this is really bringing in all these stars here. Let's drop the highlights down, shadows, add a little bit of clarity, leave the saturation alone there, and we're just going to bring this down. So that's pretty good. We're going to bring this down here and maybe drop the highlights a little bit more. I'm going to come in with an adjustment brush really quickly here and just see if I can fix this right along the horizon here. Drop the exposure down to the highlights. Um, I don't really like that. I'm just going to leave it. There's a little bit of light pollution there and I mean you could try and remove it uh, with a adjustment brush or a graduated filter, but I'm just going to leave it alone. So I think this is pretty close to done for now. Um, the one thing that you know you could do is you could come in here and maybe increase a little bit of the green saturation in your HSL tab and that might you know bring a little bit more color into this foreground here. You could also, you know, come into an adjustment brush tool and you can paint over this area here. You can see right now the sharpness is um, selected and all the way down. So that's why it's starting to get blurry. But once I get rid of that and then, um, you know, drop the exposure just a little bit, add a little bit of contrast, remove some of the highlight detail and add some clarity. And then, you know, this shrubs on the other side really start to pop off the screen. So anyway, that's a kind of a quick edit, um, you know, another look at nighttime photography. It is the perfect time to go out this week. There's going to be a new moon for for us to, you know, get out and photograph. I'm going to try and go out, but um, we are expecting some clouds this week, so I may not get a chance. But if I do, I will have more star photos for you. I look forward to seeing what you guys can come up with um, in your own star photos. So please do take some and share them with me. You can just link to them below in the comments. Or you can share them on my site if you so choose in the community uh, forum below. There's a link down there. So thank you for watching this week. Please click the like button. Uh, below on the video, it helps more people find me, um, more people who are looking for this kind of stuff. And, you know, it's, it's always good to hear when people like your stuff. So thank you again for watching. Have a great week, and I will see you once again next week with another Let's Edit video. So keep on clicking. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.